Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Ricky here. Thanks for watching Toxins Arcade. And today I want to talk about Analog because the duo just came out. And I've been watching some reviews and I have some thoughts on it. I want to get your opinion on it. I'm going to share you mine. So let's talk about it now. One of the things I noticed about the Turbo Duo and watching some of the videos on it is that it looks like they're using the operating system from an uh, the Analog OS operating system, which is basically the system you see in the Analog Pocket. It's this menu right here. And that's pretty disappointing because if you're going to put a Pocket OS in the Duo, you might as well just get the Pocket. Uh, so the Pocket is my favorite handheld device of all time. I just want to get that out there. Here it is running CPS2. This is Gigawing, and uh, I can basically put this up on the dock, hook up my 8-bit uh, arcade stick, and just go nuts. Marvel vs. Capcom, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes, Alien vs. Predator, Gigawing, and the, the possibilities are endless, so there's really no need to get that Turbo Duo, and it looks like the software is really buggy at the moment that uh, launch OS or launch firmware is no good. Uh, a lot of things look like they're not compatible yet, which is very frustrating when you get these things. I mean, even if it's 90%, you kind of want it to be 99, especially if there's any games in your library that actually just don't work, which I have experienced in the pocket. I do have a couple games, well, I have one game that just doesn't work. But anyway, back to the Turbo Duo now. You can just run the CD games right off of your analog pocket as well as your Turbo Graphics 16, so there's really no reason to get the Turbo Duo if you have a pocket. Or if you're thinking about getting one or the other, just get the pocket. If you can take some time to figure out how to do the system and all that stuff and how to get the ROMs on there, it's going to be fine. Here's Valus 2 running on the, the pocket, uh, Turbo Graphics 16 CD core. There you go, you know. So, love this thing. Um, in terms of the pocket, there's going to be an update at the end of uh, the year towards Christmas. They say uh, that's going to add screen filters for OpenFPGA that's not available right now and hasn't been for the ROMs, which is why I like using the uh, EverDrive because then I can still get my screen filters. Um, other than that, I'm looking forward to the N64 hardware that they're coming out with. That's really interesting. And I'll be waiting for that 2.0 update. I do want to get the dock. I am planning on getting the dock. So once that I get that, I'll do more content on that. And I'll do some footage of me playing CPS2 with a stick. Also, the last update they did 1.2 also had some updates for the controllers. More controller compatibility, bug fixes, all that stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Spread love, not hate. We'll catch you on the next one. Talks it out. Peace.